In less than a week's time, Outlaws is going to be coming out. I think it's only a few days if you pre-order it or some Ubisoft member, you get it a few days early. I don't really know. And personally, I'm not going to be picking up this game. This isn't a sponsored video as much as I would really like it to be. But today, I decided to build a shot. This shot specifically from the trailers and all the content we've got. And it's KVS with her axolotl that I can't remember the name of. I'll have to definitely check that up in a second on the speeder bike overlooking the view. And I'm also going to add again, don't know the droid's name, but the really cool commando with the jacket, which I think is a really cool droid. And hopefully use some of the slow pieces from the recent Mandalore battle pack, the ambush on Mandalore to build up a little scene I'm not going to be building the whole planet. I do not have the pieces at my disposal because I'm also working on things like the city and a few other mocks in the background that I hope to bring to you in the next few weeks. But as I keep saying, it is a busy week for me. So this is a nice small mock to keep my creativity going and also just to celebrate Outlaws. In a few weeks, I am planning on doing something similar whenever I get around to finishing the Jedi Survivor. Well, I finish a story but complete in the game. I want it 100% just like Fallen Order and I'll probably try and drag myself into completing the third game 100% if and when that comes out because we haven't had anything announced, I don't think, for a third game. Hopefully we get some news soon and I'd love to see a trailer. I'm sure they've been working on it since the second game was done. But now the Star Wars game license is no longer EA exclusive. I'm sure you all probably have some idea it's been handed over to Ubisoft, which means there are a bunch of pre-order exclusive stories. There's a season pass now with games. They're going to cost so much. I'm just going to watch the cutscenes here on YouTube for free because after spending, I think I did get Survivor on quite a decent sound. Not as good as Fallen Order, which I picked up on the day for £20, a mixture of coupons and vouchers and different points through. I think it was Tesco that I picked it up. That was really cool. Picking it up day one for £20. Fiverr was so expensive. And the storyline was really, really good. But the gameplay just felt like you were running through a maze. If I wanted to play a game that was just me running through a maze, I'd play Pac-Man. It just seemed to drag on quite long. I spent more time running to places. Outlaws is meant to be open world, which looking back on it, most games from Star Wars in the last 20 years have been. But the story only continues if you go to the next chapter in the story. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, I'm not here to complain about that. I'm here to build Lego. So let's start building Kay Vess's bike and the rocky terrain around her. And in order to build an accurate Kay Vess and speeder bike, we of course need to get our Kay Vess minifigure. I thought long and hard about this. I was going to use different parts from Cassian, different sequel trilogy torsos. But I think the easiest minifigure to use is a fellow smuggler right here, Han Solo. Because if we were to pop off the head and get Leia, these are both the Hoff outfits for Han and Leia. So they were right next to each other on my display. They seem like the easiest minifigures to build. But if you have different combinations, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And you wanna take Leia's head, attach it to the Han torso and put that Han hair back on because it does go down to the bottom of the minifigure's head and represents KVS quite nicely, but it's not the only minifigure, so let's get the other two as well. Han's not looking very happy about his torso being stolen for KVS. And in case you haven't seen my updated minifigure display, this is why I want to get all my armies on that Smith's LED display case because rather than emptying them all out over my desk just to get this one commando droid who I picked up in an old Lego ATRT Clone Wars set with Yoda 501st. It was really, really good though. Nowadays would probably complain that it didn't come with enough minifigures because I think it was those three and a sniper version of the droid cup. But when these are all on a display, which hopefully won't be too long now, it'll be so much easier to pick out specific droids that I need for mocks and not have to pour any bags out over my desk. But the minifigure is not complete because not only does it need some sort of weapons case that looks like it's carrying a sniper rifle or something, that'd be pretty easy to do because we could probably just make that with two pieces. But I'm also gonna steal this custom fabric coat, this jacket piece that I got 
ages ago. It's probably the first custom element I got to use with my Lego minifigures. And I actually think I picked this up for Frodo because he's not wearing a jacket on the minifigure that I have. But I've used this for Gambit from X-Men 97. He's popped up in more, but X-Men 97 is what inspired me to build Gambit. So I'd say this is from X-Men 97. You'll notice a few other pieces. So I'm gonna take that off, add that to the commando droid just down there. And we're also going to need to select an axolotl to go with K. And we've got a few colors. I think we have all the Minecraft colors actually. Pink, we have this light blue, we have this darker blue, still a light blue, but darker than the other one. And I think the best color for the axolotl, which is sort of a tan brown color, is gonna be this orange one down here. I just think they are so cute. And I really like the custom mold that Lego have made for the Minecraft axolotl. And now we have our three minifigures to go with the little scenic diorama we are creating. And to go along with K-Vest, we of course need her bike, which I have created here using a ton of different techniques. I mean, the bottom is full of different stud connections out of the typical system way of building, which is just like you see on here, the studs on top of the, or well, the tiles on top of the studs and the stud connectors. We've got some snot techniques or bogey builds as I like to call them on the back. We've got some bars clipped into studs, into clips. This whole, I don't even know what to call it down at the front here is really, really nice. And if you would like instructions for this, let me know, I could probably, even just upload a video of me building this if that is easier. But I can always add this to Discord. I'm not sure Rebrickable will like this size of mock, but perhaps I can bundle it with the scenery and you just build the speeder bike and close the instruction book then. So now let's get adding slopes to this slate and make it look more like the rocky terrain we see on the poster. Just like that, we have this little scene from the poster of Outlaws and my aim is to try not to break enough of these leaves, try and keep it in one piece, and to take a few images and edit in the background behind it. But not only have I done this, I thought it seemed very similar to the Fallen Order slash Survivor, the Cal Kestis poster of them looking out. So I've also recreated that with Cal on a rock and BD standing next to him. I think it's the Jedi Survivor poster because Cal doesn't have a poncho, but as you can see, they are very similar. So there's definitely some sort of inspiration. So I'll take some photos of both of these and I will whack them up on Instagram if you want a longer look. Before I show off the images, I did make a few modifications to the speeder. I added some handles here because it did look a bit weird without it. I've also changed one of them quarter tiles on the back to a stud so I could sit the axolotl down. And I also added k Vess's bag on the side, which is a nice little detail that I forgot looking in one of the images I noticed. And of course, then we've got the ammo bag just down here, which I think I already showed off when I was showing off the minifigures. I was gonna reuse parts or at least take inspiration from Mando's bike from the Mandalorian but I'm happy that I went with a different design. Even though they are very, very similar and there's definitely some inspiration taken, I definitely prefer how k Vess's speeder turned out with all the extra details. And this was a modification of Mando's from his Lego set anyway. So side by side, let me know which one you prefer down in the comments. As you can see in the photos on screen now, I think this was a huge success recreating the poster wallpaper from the new Outlaws game. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you are going to be buying this and playing this. I do think I'll just be watching the cutscenes on YouTube, but I can't wait to see what the story is like for the game because I'm really interested. The story for the Jedi games is really, really cool. So it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. And drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, check out all the other videos on screen now. Before you go, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss more videos like this. I'm really enjoying these smaller mocks that definitely build up to something greater. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. May the bricks be with you always.